Good morning. This is your boy, Mr. Heavily Motivated. And what I want to talk to y'all about is these mass shootings. Every time we turn on the TV, someone's getting shot somewhere. It's, it's getting crazy. We actually have like an epidemic of mass shootings going on. And I'm not a counselor. I'm not a grief counselor. But I'm coming to you as someone that spent 13 years in prison, right? Five years as a fugitive been convicted of like 14 felonies in my life and now at 43 just trying to get it right and rebuild i'm just telling you you don't want that smoke it's i don't know what you what folks are thinking about and i'm talking to, i'm talking to those who who are likely to pull the trigger i don't know what you think happens man after you go out and kill these people or shoot people or shoot up a spot it's ignorant now if you're in a gang or trying to get initiated into a gang and they're telling you you got to do this to get right or they're, you want to do it for clout or for popularity or whatever or as a way to express your anger, what I am encouraging you today is just fight. What happened to the time where we would fight? If y'all if got the guns, you got the tone, you got the ratchet, just take y'all ratchets, give them to the big homies, give them to somebody and stand out in the street and fight it out. You know, because you, you got to understand when you get in these institutions, when you get behind these walls, it ain't no guns and everybody don't have knives. So what, just, just fight. My encouragement, y'all, is just fight. And if somebody beats you up, you don't got to go back and shoot them. Y'all can fight again or you can just say, hey, man, you won and you got it. We're dealing with like emotional intelligent issues. People are... These kids, these young men, and it's even women out here pulling the triggers. They are so emotionally unintelligent that they don't know how to use their cognitive skills to process what's going on. They're instantly thinking that if somebody disrespected me or somebody did this to me, I got to pull my gun, bang, bang, shoot them. It's a lot more that goes on behind this story, man, because people got mamas, you got a mama, people got kids, you might got a kid. And now for you, Talking to the shooter, you're going to be going to, j to jail, man, sometimes for the rest of your life. And on your way to jail, you're going to be in court begging the judge for mercy. And then you might get into jail and get in these institutions, and that guy's homie's in there. And there's not no guns. We got to fight. Just fight sometimes. My man, Mousy Mighty Mouse on YouTube, he got a, a call to say, Glo gloves up, guns down. We got to take this initiative to just put some gloves on, swap it out, duke it out, go over in the mud, go over in the bushes, go over in the parking lot and just fight. Just fight and let that be it. You're not going to win them all. You're not going to lose them all. But you will live, Craig. You will live to fight another day. The shooting that happened at the Super Bowl thing, at the Super Bowl parade is just crazy. And this all over the cities, all over major cities, the shootings, everyone's shooting each other. They got AKs, they got Glocks, they got switches, they got poles. Somebody has to make it stop. We got to stand up. I'm saying we got to stand up as black men and just make a call for those to stop the violence. If, if you're thinking about shooting somebody or riding on somebody or spraying up a set, Pump your brakes, man. It's kids getting hurt. It's kids getting traumatized. This is not a video game. This is not a video game. You do not come back from this stuff. And you're throwing your whole life away. And what are you throwing it away for? A block, a city, a set, disrespect. What are you throwing your life away for? We got to have some more people, man that's being positive role models. I'm calling on you rappers out there to let's take an initiative instead of always showing all the money, showing all the guns, showing all the, the whores you're getting. Let's start talking about people not killing one another in these streets, man, destroying the communities. I know it's not popular. I know the record label's not gonna push it, but use your platform for your social media influences. Let's start talking about a different rhetoric than folks killing each other in the streets. We have to wake up as a people. We have to do better. 
allow me to get in front of them. Let me tell my testimony about how you go in and you, you, you think it's all, you, you grow up and you think you got to do this, you think you got to do that to be tough and prove who you are. But then one day you, you look up and you, you miss life. You miss so much on life. And these judges, they smoking you, man, for these gun charges. They smoking you. You, you might not hit the streets again. So to be, if I could take a moment to be frank with you, if you like girls, going shooting somebody is going to ruin that. If you like having sex, going shooting somebody, if you like having sex with women, going shooting people, murdering people is going to ruin all that. If you like getting money, going shooting people, ruin people, going and shooting people, murdering people is going to ruin all that. If you like driving fast cars, hell cats, it's going to ruin all that. If you like buying Jordans, Wearing donks, dressing up, it's shooting people is going to ruin all that. It's going to ruin all your opportunities. If you like anything out here in the free world, when you pull that trigger, understand that you're giving all that up. You're giving your opportunity to, to the rest of your life away. Please put the gun down. Enjoy a relationship. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy going to the refrigerator at night. Enjoy these simple things. Enjoy, enjoy going to Chipotle or Red Lobster. Whatever it is you like, going to your mama's house and getting some food. Enjoy that. Enjoy playing your PS5. Enjoy playing whatever you do, Xbox or um, Call of Duty. Enjoy that. But just know when you pull that trigger, you forfeiting your right to all that. And it's going to be lonely. It's a long, dark road. There are going to be jail visitations, court court dates. You're going to be in a paddy wagon. You're going to be cuffed up. You're going to be sleeping on a mattress that's like this thick. You're going to be eating bean trays, sweat meat, meat rock, a bunch of crazy stuff, bricks of um, loaf. And you're going to be in there with them gangsters and ain't no guns. And God forbid if you can't really fight, if you ain't got no hands, somebody going to test you. Somebody is going to test you. So I just wanted to post this video, man, and just say that we have to have another way. Let's just fight it out. And if somebody beat your butt, beat your hind pots, you don't got to go back and shoot them. Fight them again another time or just say, hey, you got it, you win. You know, but y'all out here, y'all still free. Y'all can do other things. But with all this shooting, it got, I don't even want to take my family nowhere. I don't, I don't want to take my family nowhere. I just want to stay home sometimes. Because it, you you just never know where the smoke gonna pop off at. So for all y'all gangsters and they on there trying to put all this gang stuff about how it's crip set, blood sets out there, and all this, the gang violence in the streets, man, they got your number. And you big homies, you better talk to your little homies and YGs. Tell them stand down. Cause you're gonna catch a Rico charge. You'll be somewhere looking real stupid. Doing 18, 20 years. We got to let it go, man. Got to be another way. It's got to be another way. Got to. Y'all stay heavily motivated. Stay humble. Sit down. Stop shooting.